Hello, it's me, Codeblaze, and this video is a really special one as this marks the release of Loxy Engine. So, for those who haven't been following my channel, Loxy Engine is a high performance, extensible runtime voxel engine for Unity. In simple words, you provide the data and the engine will take care of rest and give you optimized meshes. From the very beginning, Performance and extensibility have been the core designing principles of the project. At times, I have spent excess amount of hours fiddling with performance which would impact extensibility. So it's a delicate balance to maintain. And when I say performance, it's not just about the speed but also the memory. I want the engine to work run well on mobile devices also. And as a testament to it, the demo application provided with the engine runs well on Windows as well as Android. Making the engine extensible is where the beauty of the code lies. With APIs that allow you to control both high-level and low-level behaviors, as well as swap out core components of the engine with your own implementation. Yet I believe if you understand the actual engine code and are able to modify at the source level, you would be able to get best out of the Vloxy engine. And to facilitate that, I have put heavy emphasis on creating a rich documentation website. At the current state, the engine supports streaming and generation of infinite voxel terrains in all direction. Most of the key performance components are in place like compression of chunk data with efficient read access, the Unity job system and burst compiler usage for the chunk data generation as well as meshing and a non-blocking scheduler for dispatching jobs to keep the whole thing going. Low-level extensions for customizing mesh generation and noise generation are also present, allowing you to create some more custom world. With these features, the core of the engine, basically the data crunching part, is mostly in place, hence this release so that I can start gathering feedback and testing performance metrics. Another purpose of this release is to identify the bugs as the current scheduler is a bit convoluted at this point and it needs a lot of refactoring and there are some edge cases that are not handled. So even now we are far away from being production ready but the engine is still in the state where you can fiddle around in small projects or maybe use it as a learning resource if you want to dive into voxels yourself. But what's coming next is a more extensive noise API for more granular control and more interesting world generation, as well as a structure generation API that would allow you to create structures from as little as trees to large caves and maybe some saved data that you can be placed in the world like houses. Right. Then serialization of persistent worlds. So the worlds that are generated can be saved. That's also coming ahead. And maybe some different meshing algorithms and chunk data structures. So you are able to get the look you want and fine tune the data handling for your use cases. And finally, which is kind of far away, physics, networking, and the shift to Unity ECS. In closing, Vloxy Engine is very special to me. Not only is it my first serious take on open source, but also my third attempt at building a voxel engine. So around over three years of my life. The very reason I got into programming was because of Minecraft and a dream to someday code something similar. So today I am proud to release an open source Vloxy engine. I hope you try it out, feel free to provide any feedback and if you want to help develop Share a pull request as they are always welcome. I'll be creating more devlogs and some technical deep dives into the engine as well as continuing my existing voxel series for Unreal Engine. So be sure to subscribe, leave a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.